Hi, and welcome to today's edition of Kitchen Chemistry. I'm Julie, an educator with the New Mexico Museum of Space History. And today we're gonna to be talking about chemistry. Chemistry is the science of what things are made of. We call this matter. What is matter? Well, matter is any substance that has mass and takes up space. Well, this table is made of matter, and so are you, and so is this water. Today for our experiment, you're gonna need some school glue and some borax, which is a cleaning powder, and maybe some food coloring to make your slime look really great. The first step in making our slime is to make a saturated solution of the borax powder. Take a cup of hot water and add three teaspoons of borax powder to the water and stir it until it has dissolved. Not all of the powder will dissolve. The rest will just sink to the bottom and that's just fine. Next, pour your school glue into a bowl. The more glue you use, the more slime you will make. Now is the time to add the color to your slime. I'm adding four drops of blue food coloring to the glue. And then I'm going to stir the mixture until it's all the same color. Next, we will add our borax solution, a little at a time, starting with a teaspoon. Mix it well. You will see that almost immediately, a change begins to happen. This is called a chemical change or a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction takes place when atoms of a substance are rearranged and the bonds between the atoms are broken or formed. During the chemical reaction, the structure or composition of the materials change. I'm slowly adding more of the borax solution and mixing it until the slime comes away from the sides of the bowl. Then I can start kneading it with my hands. I should have worn gloves as the slime is very sticky to begin with. But as long as I wash my hands after I'm through playing with my slime, everything should be good. Glue is made up of a special type of molecule called a polymer. A polymer is long chain-like molecules that are formed by connecting many repeating units. I like to think of a polymer like a beaded necklace. When you combine a borax solution to the polymer chain, a chemical reaction happens and the new substance is made. And what a fun new substance it is. Slime's been around for a long time. In 1955, the inventor, an engineer named James Wright, was looking for a new substance to make tires out of. It didn't quite work for tires, but we sure did get a fun toy that they named Silly Putty. Thanks for joining me today for this episode of Kitchen Chemistry. And be sure to check back often as we're always adding new projects and information. And remember, stay home, stay safe, and keep looking up.